Hey, welcome back YouTube. It's a beautiful day out here in Toronto, Canada, and today I just finished setting up my home gym, as you can see in the background and on the sides. Uh, ever since the pandemic started, I just got to building my own home gym because, you know, you couldn't go to the gym. And basically for under a thousand bucks, for like $900, I'm gonna break it down. I got to a point where I don't even need to go to the gym anymore. This kind of replaces almost everything I do. And even if it doesn't like 100% replace it, I can kind of figure out a way to do something to hit that muscle. So let's get into how I got into making this gym. All right, so before I start, make sure you guys like this video so other people can find it and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, but all right, let's start. So basically this, it wasn't in the frame just a second ago, but this is actually like a wooden bench, four feet long, um, about nine and a half inches in width and 16 inches in height. And this is, this is something that I built. Actually, my dad taught me how to build them. And uh, after that, I just started building uh, different stuff myself. So back when the pandemic just started, uh, what happened was basically there was nothing like available. Everything was sold out everywhere. So I had to make my own, uh, make my own stuff, my own gym equipment. So I got this um, and I put this little padding over it so you know it's pretty soft uh, if you're gonna sit on a wooden bench it's gonna be pretty hard on your shoulders on your back on your muscles so uh, I put this little padding on it it's like a little uh, carpet kind of thing so it gets the job done I actually got the job done for a couple months and I use it with a dumbbell set and I'm gonna show you the dumbbell set right now but I also want to show you the rack that I built uh, which was actually after I got the barbell and this is actually all handmade uh, by myself with minimal uh, help with, by my dad. Actually this one actually uh, I designed this one myself so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Um, but yeah this is the initial gear that I used for the home gym and the wood, all this wood together cost me like 60 bucks plus like $30 in nails and I had the, the drills and stuff right so you could say that's 100 bucks right there but I won't really count it because you don't need to buy that. Obviously that was just like a temporary investment just to get things running in the beginning. But before I move on, I just wanted to point out that this does have like, I kind of have to design it to my own height. So if you if you are interested in making something like this, you got to kind of set it up for your like your arm length. So this is for, it's for bench, right? And there's another uh, set of basically like these placeholders right here. This one's for squats, so you got, I, I had to make two basically. And then I, I put this one on the back, so you kind of slam the, the barbell into it. And yeah, so these are the complications of using wood. Basically, you have to make two different levels for bench and squat. All right, sick. So now let's get into the first actual purchase that I made. So I hope, I hope you can see me in the camera, but these um, Bowflex dumbbells uh, were the first purchase that I made. And this was actually my birthday present. It actually aligned pretty well. Um, so my parents got me this and this was $430. So this is the most expensive part of the entire setup. Um, yeah, so this is like basically half the setup and this is really helpful because obviously you can switch through all these different weights. So it goes from what, like five pounds, uh, you just like switch the dials and you can get it from five pounds all the way up to 52 and a half. So very useful, albeit uh, these are a bit overpriced. There are competing brands that should be cheaper and you can probably go on Craigslist or um, Kijiji in Canada and find cheaper versions of these or maybe someone selling them used and you know, they're just as good. So uh, this was great. And for a long time, it was just me and these uh, dumbbells along with that wooden bench and I just do like everything uh, with that before I got the barbell. So the next thing that I got was actually this barbell and uh, not this entire uh, not this entire bench and you know these rails, not everything together. I just got this single barbell and it came with uh, as a package at Walmart with two 25 pound plates, um, two 10 pound plates and two five pound plates. So let me show you guys those. All right, so basically that 25 pound plate right there uh, came as, came with this package and I got two of those. I also got two five pound plates and I also got two 10 pound plates um, uh, as part of the set. All right, so this was the next major progression of the gym. So I went from just having a bench and the dumbbells to having this barbell, which made me make the rack. And this barbell along with the weights was around 80 bucks at Walmart. 
Uh, so this was a steal in terms of um, basically what was available at the time. It was like the last package at Walmart. So super steal right there. And this was the setup for a couple of weeks after that. And the next logical thing to do after you get a barbell that, and you have like barely any weights to use on it, I got two 45 plates. So you can see a 45 plate there. There's also one right there. I keep them on both sides of the bench. Um, and each of those guys cost me around $50 or around $45 each. So 90 bucks. And those are a little overpriced in my opinion. I got them new. A bit overpriced, obviously go to Kijiji, go to Craigslist, they'll get them for cheaper. But uh, it just matched my other plates and I'm, I'm weird like that, so I just wanted all everything to match together, so I got those guys. So if you keep it running total so far, we had 430 for those guys and we had 80 bucks for those guys and now 90 bucks for these guys, so we're still under our limit. Alright, so now we're at 600 bucks. Uh, this guy right here, I got for... $15 at Walmart. So I saw this. I was like, yo, let me get this last one at Walmart again. So just my luck, I guess. $15 right there, 615 bucks. Um, let's go back here. So my dad actually got all of these 10 pound plates. So uh, there's around, there are six 10 pound plates and there are two five pound plates. And these are one inch. So everything else in this gym is Olympic size. So standard two inch diameter, so one inch diameter. So make sure if you're gonna buy something, make sure you know uh, basically the hole it's gonna fit into. Is it one inch or two inches? Cause it's gonna obviously affect it. Um, so th these guys uh, all together were around 50 bucks uh, that my dad spent on these, these plates. So six 10 pound plates, two five pound plates, 50 bucks. Now we're at six 65. All right, cool. So basically the next big purchase that I made uh, was this so this was two hundred dollars out of Walmart uh, This bench plus this rack and this was a complete game changer for me. So our running total right now is at 865 um, Why was this a game changer because uh, number one? Uh, it's you can do incline and decline press now, right? So this bench goes up and down a couple degrees um, You can uh, th these are big so basically I come from a track and field background so uh, just kind of being able to only do like what squats, lunges uh, for my legs, it was kind of getting to me. So basically now uh, with these, you can do uh, quad, basically leg extensions for your quadriceps. Uh, you can lie down and you can put your feet here and do hamstring curls. Uh, and then there's also uh, this extension right here, which you can put on it. And then you can do bicep curls with this. Cool, so the last thing of this entire gym that I got was this uh, this bench right here. And this bench, you can use it obviously for, um, you know, dumbbells and different stuff, but the, the seat part is like permanently angled. You can't really change the angle of this. So I just use this for crunches and basically abdominal exercises where I just take like a plate, hold it in my arms and just do sit-ups up and down or, you know, twists and different things uh, for my abs. So. This was $50, which brings our total to $865 plus $50, $915. And that is basically how I got this entire home gym set up, basically with anything you'd ever, well, anything I'd ever want personally for under $1,000. And a quick fun fact, um, I don't know if you've noticed, basically there's this right here, but my dad got this for around $10. And the, the issue is that I really don't have anywhere to connect it, right? I don't have a cable machine, so I don't count that. But hey, if one day I, I got a cable machine, I'll add that to the total. So 915, uh, these little pads on the bottom were like a buck a, a buck a pop. So 915, let's forward those pads. Let's say 920. And for $920, obviously basically got the whole gym experience. And here in Canada, uh, basically our gym is like, like if I go to the gym, it'll cost me like 50 bucks a month. So that is just like the gym membership cost. So, all right, I get like most of my money back within a year in terms of what, I, what I'm saving. Um, and then you have the transportation cost. So if it costs me like, you know, three bucks worth of gas to get to the gym and back, uh, you know, it starts adding up, especially in the winter here where it's just pretty hectic. And, you know, I'm a, uni I'm a university student and got to save time. So basically this was a good use of my money. Um, some of my money, some of my dad's uh, parents' money, 
and uh, my dad uses it as well. So it's a great, great, um, great thing to buy, great thing to invest in. I really recommend if you have the space for it, then just get some stuff uh, going on in your own home. Because if you can do that, then you know it, it saves you time, money, and a lot of stuff. And um, in the long run, and you'll pl probably actually get to working out more because it'll just be that much more convenient. So that's it, guys. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys in the next video, all right? Take care.